Well, back with Dr. Christensen from Hawaii, Honolulu, or the, I do not know anymore how to pronounce that other little city where you're from, but I'm sure people um, uh, will get it um, somehow. Now, tell me, you know, you, you, you're merging uh, a fusion of Western and, um, and Asian medicine somehow uh, treatment, and you talked about energy type of treatment. Tell me uh, the, the three, four, or five major complaints your patients come to you or the major complaints you are very, very good at treating at, the major symptoms. They may not be the cause of it, but the symptoms. Tell me about them, please. Well, major symptom includes chronic pain. People have neck pain, shoulder pain, lower back pain, hip pain, knee pain. You know, those are very common. People come in and with various different reasons and we will identify the cause of it and we treat accordingly. So we can get into a little bit more detail how I select and how do I decide how to do that. Right. The, the, the chronic pain is one of the major issues. And then people are depressed. Okay. They are mildly or mildly depressed, but they are not really depressed in a very serious way, but they just don't feel good. Very common. People could we, just are depressed. Could we, could we describe that also actually that they are not necessarily depressed, they're just lifeless, they're fatigued, they're tired, they're exhausted. Yeah, just fatigue and they don't have motivation and they feel like exhausted and they don't, every day they get up they more oh, I got so much stuff to do, I don't know where to start with. Mm-hmm. This is stress. This is basically stress. a stress yeah, I got and it. That, a lot. I have a lot of patients with stress. Okay. And um, people come with insomnia. So they have fatigue, but they couldn't sleep. Can mm-hmm. you relate that? Yeah. They well, I sleep. can't because I sleep like a baby, and I sleep about ten hours a day, literally. Um, you know, I know people will probably go, "My God, when do you work?" But here's the ta- here's the thing. Uh, uh, the rest of the time, uh, I, I'm quite active. I think because I sleep so much. Uh, my wife also, you know, uh, we, we sleep anything between 8 and 10 hours on an almost daily basis. And, um, and, 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 and we love it. Because we do wake up, uh, and we do, we are energetic during the day. So not sleeping, I have heard, you know, and I've read that, you know, uh, the amount of hours people sleep is going way, way down. Uh, some of it planned, because, you know, we now have televisions. Long time ago we didn't, so there was no program going out at 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, also, due to traffic, people have to get up much earlier. And all together, wherever you mentioned before, stress. So one way that way, insomnia, uh, a, a huge problem. All right, what else do you fix? Um, my One of the biggest um, population of patients is the allergy problem. Allergy including the Western definition of allergy, meaning that they hit something and they get break out hives or they have asthma attack and with the dog denders or the tree pollens or, or the uh, like uh, ivory, poison ivy, and or they have peanuts allergy. This is a frank allergy. But there is also energy incompatibility. That's a broader sense of uh, allergy, which is stepping out of the Western realm of allergy. We call that energy incompatibility. People can be incompatible with people or incompatible with food that they're eating and then causing a blockage. So I can use that technique. It's, a, it's including the muscle response testing, acupressure, acupuncture, just basically reprogram reprogram your brain. Is that you go in there to re-engineering your whole brain wiring. And so you can recognize those food or those people that you associate with or, or association with the airs, the dogs, and anything in the environment. And it's very effective. And it's pretty amazing people can be incompatible with their father, with their mother, with their spouse, with children, and we can treat that. And so they have a better relationship. Again, when we talk about stress, it's a relationship problem. Wow. Can you relate that? Yeah. Right. So you have stress and loss of energy based on which things and people uh, you might associate with. And I think we all have noticed that at some point that like yeah. there is some uncle or some aunt where we feel a lot better or a lot worse to be with it. And your spouse. 
I mean, you are lucky to have a very nice spouse, but I got people coming in the spouse beating each other, mm-hmm. not just physically, but verbally. Mm-hmm. Verbal well, abuse is very, very common. It's interesting that you, uh, what you just said here, you said mm-hmm. not just physically, but also verbally, meaning verbally, the, verbal, yeah. the verbal one is actually hurting much more than the, than the physical. Uh, Exactly. They just hide it and they block. Mm. They verbal abuse to block your channel in no end. Mm. All right. For, since for the kids. Right. Since you mentioned energies, uh, since you mentioned allergies here, and since you live in Hawaii, I, I have a very important question. It's really, it's, 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 it's. If I don't ask you, I'm going to get stressed. Um, <laughs> do, do you have lots of people in Hawaii who are allergic against sharks? Against what? Sharks. Sharks? You know, you know, those little animals which swim out there, and uh, is, is there some help for that, you know, kind of like... Uh, I, <laughs> I think probably the fear factor more than the actual physical allergy to it. You know what I mean? They uh, has fear factor? Yeah, what, yeah. You, what, you, what you're telling me, if you swim there and you look a shark in the eye, he will kind of like turn around and go if you're not afraid? No, that's the kind of like allergy is different from the trauma. You know, when you get a traumatized, you can you cannot avoid the trauma being hit by the car, hit by the shark, or burned by the fire. That we cannot do, but that's a physical level. You know right. what I mean? I do know. I just try to be, you know, uh, um, 20 million Americans out of a job, uh, 20 million comedians out of a job, and I try to be funny. Um, so, um, right. yeah. All right. Well, good. Anything else you want to tell me about, like, which, you know, we have a bunch of, of major treatments which you do, and I think they cover a lot, so I think we'll leave it at that, and um, hopefully I get a chance to talk to you about, um, you know, each one of them, of how you go about treating them, because I think that's super interesting to uh, people uh, out there, wouldn't you say so? Absolutely. Good. I and think super- that- with this technique, I can basically cover a lot of stuff. Right. From the physical to emotional to spiritual. How does that sound to you? Well, it, it's it, pretty it, amazing. It, it sounds rather helpful to me. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Christensen. You're welcome.